What inspired you to get involved in this particular campaign? Well, my mum actually comes from the healthcare profession. So she's been involved in the healthcare as long as I can remember. Um, she used to be a nurse, she's been trained as a nurse. And uh, since then she specialised as a consultant in haemoglobinopathies, mm -hmm. which is blood related disorders. <laughs> um, <laughs> and particularly with sickle cell and thalassemia uh, and the screening program. She's, a, she, she's been instrumental within the training, um, you know, the training program for this whole country um, mm. and, and the NHS Trust and, and some of the organisations who obviously screen and, and, and test for, for sickle cell and, and also help with the, with the treatment as well. So, you know, I, I've been linked to it without being linked to it, yeah, you know, yeah, and <laughs> it's something that I'm, I'm extremely passionate about I yeah. think you know if you're blessed with good things you know and I've got good health as far as I know Same. you know obviously I'm relatively young still and and you know even if I was to pass myself anything that I had that was good I'd be happy to, to, to donate so why do you think it's important for people to give blood um, I think as you said you know it's it's something that changes a life in an instant you know mm. and you never know what situation you'll find yourself in even you know mm. and I think if you know for whatever reason I happen to need blood or you know I need a transfusion for whatever reason um, you know for me to be able to accept that blood someone has to donate it to me you mm. know um, and I may never be in that position but I feel that if it's something that I can do for somebody else whether I've met them or not met them or you know and and make that difference to their life you know and and potentially save their lives. Um, it's something that I'm very, very happy to do, very proud to do, mm. um, and I'd love to be involved in. Last year, the blood donor register had less than 5% African and Caribbean um, donors. Why do you feel it is that there is sort of this stigma almost attached to giving blood? I think that a lot of the the things that restrict people from giving blood are related to their countries of origin, you know? And so you get obviously, you know, countries in Africa where you're exposed to various different diseases that prevent you from being given blood mm -hmm. um, or blood-borne diseases as well. I think that really does hamper the number of, of you know, black and Asian and ethnic minority groups mm. giving blood. So how was your process of giving blood today? Well, my process was really simple, you know. You went in, um, you go through a pre-screening and then uh, screening for actually being eligible to give blood. Um, and, you know, it's very reassuring, very calming, mm -hmm. very quiet. Um, mm -hmm. I went down, I sat on the chair and, you know, the nurses sort of talking to you, keeping you at ease, looking after you. They take your blood pressure and then that's pretty much it. And mm -hmm. for me, it was quite a quick process as well. Yeah. So I gave blood, I think, in about four yeah, and a half minutes. Yeah, I saw you. I came in and <laughs> go. I was like, that was quick. Okay. I know. So, um, so, you know, it's one of those things, you know, where you're trying to dif dispel a lot of the myths surrounding giving blood. Um, yeah. It is a quick process. You know, it doesn't take a long time. It's something that you can do very easily. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, and it makes a world of difference. Definitely agree. And the pain is like a paper cut. It's not even... Like, not I even that. Like you yeah, feel it. it's a presence rather exactly. than like pain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm really glad you did that. I'm Absolutely. glad you did it as well. Like, <laughs> we're, we're helping. Like, just it just feels really rewarding to know that you've made someone's life safer. Well, that's right? it, and I think you have to, you have to, you have to do it with that in mind. You know, it's not necessarily the most. Um, it's not necessarily something that you think of at first, and that's yeah. why it's important to get the message out there. That's why it's important to encourage people to give blood, um, you know, and, and, and help save lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you mentioned the facts, like dispelling rumours as well, because I think there are so many rumours surrounding giving blood, but like I said, it's just so simple. It's really quick. And when you actually see the blood, it's like, that was all me. Like, well done. <laughs> like, I've got a sticker. It's like, it just feels really good. It feels like you're in school again. Like, I did that. <laughs> I still need me. my sticker. Go get your sticker before you go. <laughs>